Hi, I'm Tae Kim, and welcome to the second lesson for learning Japanese from scratch. In the last lesson, we learned very briefly about the three writing systems in Japanese. The first writing system we will learn is hiragana. By learning hiragana, you will learn how to pronounce all the sounds in the Japanese language. In this lesson, we will learn the five vowel sounds in hiragana. In this hiragana chart, the five vowel sounds are in the rightmost column as shown highlighted here. The five vowel sounds are pronounced as follows. A, I, U, E, O. These vowel sounds remain the same for all the other consonant vowel sounds, so it's very important to learn how to pronounce them properly. The best way to practice writing hiragana is to print out a practice sheet. It's very important to follow the stroke order and direction as shown in the sample. Most hiragana practice sheets will have squares split into four sections to help you practice good balance. A well-balanced character is centered and not lopsided on any of the corners. For example, here are some characters with bad balance. The first character is too heavy on the bottom left, while the second is too skinny. Try to copy the samples as closely as possible and you should be fine with a little practice. You can find the link to the practice sheet PDF on the video description. Here are some sample words to practice your reading and pronunciation. The definitions are only there for reference. Don't worry about memorizing them at this point and just focus on learning how to read the characters. Ai, ao, ie, ue. It's a good idea to be familiar with the basics of intonation as you listen and try to mimic the sounds of other Japanese speakers. Intonation in Japanese basically consists of a low and high pitch. Good intonation will maintain a uniform pitch until a change from high to low or vice versa. While you can technically look up the pitches for the standard Tokyo dialect, it will often change depending on mood, emphasis, and dialects. The best way to learn good pronunciation is to simply be aware of the pitches while mimicking the sounds of Japanese speakers. To give you a basic idea of how this works, here are the four words with their pitches. Ai, ao, ie. If you were to pronounce the first word with the pitches reversed, it would sound like ai instead of ai. However, that is not the correct pronunciation for the word love, so it's very important to get the pitches right. In the next lesson, we will learn 10 more hiragana characters for the K and S consonant sounds. Make sure to check the video description for a link to the practice sheet. There's also a link to pages where you can review the pronunciation and get additional reading practice. In this bonus slide, let's talk about one of the words in the example word list, ai. Culturally, Japanese people are less inclined to say I love you as compared to Americans or other Western cultures. Many people will say I like you instead. However, if you feel strongly about a person, there's nothing wrong with using the word ai. Perhaps it's better that the word for love is reserved for that special feeling of deep love instead of using it all the time, such as I love this movie or I love cake. <laughs>